back to that breaking news tonight. KSHB 41's Grant Stevens joins us live near 49th and Bell Fountain. And Grant, officers are on the scene of a death investigation. What else have you learned? Dia, this is yet another death investigation related to a shooting, like you said, here at 49th in Bell Fountain. Investigators still out here. I've seen them walking around from house to house. They're trying to canvas the area and figure out if there were any witnesses. But what we know so far is that police were called here around 8 o'clock. Inside one of these houses, they found a woman who was unresponsive by an apparent gunshot wound. They tried to revive her, but by the time EMS arrived on scene, she was pronounced here, pronounced dead. This kind of gun violence is exactly the kind of thing that brought the ATF director here to Kansas City in the first place. He said he'd like to see what Kansas City does in response to things like this firsthand and says that we are doing a good job on an enforcement and a deterrence side of things, but wants to remind people of the impact gun violence like this has. Why did someone kill my dad? And then he said, will you be my dad? And uh, I told him, I said, I'm sorry, I can't be your dad, but I'm gonna try to be the best grandpa that I can be. Alan Young's son, Alan Jr., was killed just before Thanksgiving. The pain and the, the void that is left uh, from my son's murder, um, I, I can't put words to express it. It's one example of heartache. More than 150 Kansas City families started feeling this year alone. Tonight, Casey's mayor, police chief, and local advocates discussed doing better. With the director of the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, Stephen Dettelbach. We cannot get used to or somehow become callous to this. That is my single biggest fear as director of ATF that somehow people will sort of say that this is part of the world we have to live in. He says Kansas City is leading the way in police science that tracks the most dangerous shooters, pioneering police and community relationships that keep guns off streets. It's progress, but as Young would tell you, we're not there just yet. Those that are left behind when someone is murdered have to live with that trauma the rest of their lives. The moment that they kill someone comes and passes, but uh, that trauma, we are all as a family and an extended family trying to deal with. There have been eight more homicides since Young was killed, two shootings today. Live in Kansas City, Grant Stevens, KSHB 41 News.